Quit it with the stupid ass footstep sound effect. Says the one with the broken ass Steven voice. Go back to the error house. Can't believe I went back to beyond and this is the first thing I get. Whatever. Can't undo what's already been done so might as well keep going. What the fuck is up bitches? Surprised to see me back, aren't you? Yeah I'm surprised too. But that doesn't matter because today I bring you a brand new show with 16 original characters that will end up putting Weston out of a job. Oh we'll see about that. Okay enough of that shit let's just get to the contestants. And here comes our first contestant. So I'm guessing this is the place, huh? I was honestly expecting somewhere that didn't look like a stereotypical Vian background, but it's whatever I guess. My name is Aaron, and I've been wanting to compete in an elimination show for quite some time. And let's be real, elimination shows have become so lackluster and predictable because of lack of effort, stupid penalties, and shitty nice characters, but not on my watch. I intend to change how it works and make these shows entertaining again, and when I found out that Topper was coming back to Viant, I just knew I had to take this opportunity. Look out YouTube, here comes motherfucking Aaron. Well, this should be pretty fun. But to be fair, anything would probably be better than that dump I was hanging around before. I'm Aspen, and I'm so glad to be here. Really, I'm just glad that I'm anywhere other than the place I come from. I come from this place called Wasteland Hills, and in case you didn't know, it's literally a fucking wasteland over there. Fuck that place, this is the main reason I signed up for this show. I don't know what the prize is, but it better be some fucking money. What the fuck? Why is there a kid here? This ain't Chuck E. Cheese. Well I'm just gonna be real, I did it for the ratings. I thought having at least one outlier would be good for entertainment. Wait, so that's why I was picked? I'm Bella, and there's really not much I can say, because I'm only 10 years old. But I'm hoping that I could overcome the odds and win this show. I may be a little kid, but hopefully I am not underestimated, as I am smarter than you may think. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Let's do this. Hello bitches. Your queen is here and ready to win. Oh, and relish in all the fame that I can get, ain't no one gonna stop me. My name is Camille, but you can just call me your future queen. I've had an emerging modeling career, but I have yet to really take off. Hopefully this show will give me all the fame and glory I need to finally reach that supermodel status. I've already got the looks, so I think I can pull this off. Well, now that I'm here, who wants to check out my latest edition of manga? Sorry not enough time for that. And I don't even watch anime. You're kidding right? Yeah, how is that even a shock? My name is Connor, and in case you couldn't tell from the last scene, I am a manga and anime lover. In fact, I love it so much, that I even started to make my own manga series. It's called, Kasario Shiri. <laughs> What's so funny? I personally think it sounds beautiful. Don't mind me, just trying to get my bitch ass high. What can I say, everything is better when you're high as shit. The name is Damien, and I am probably your average description of a druggie. I like to get high as shit, but I also like to get drunk as fuck. Tobacco, alcohol, weed, you name it. I've had it all. I even have the illegal shit I got from Waterbury, if anyone even remembers him. But enough about my drugs. I came here to have a damn good time, and that's what's gonna happen. Ugh, let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make friends, I came here to win, so might as well give me the prize right fucking now. I'm Holly, your future winner of the season, and that's all you motherfuckers really need to know. I'm gonna win this season and there's no way in hell anyone is gonna stop me. I don't care what I have to do, I'll literally do whatever the fuck I want, I don't even have a problem with ruining some lives if I have to. Fuck everyone else. This is my time to shine so deal with it. God damn it, why is there no service in this airport? I've been trying to connect for the past 5 seconds. Did you ever take your phone off of airplane mode? Shit. Why did I think choosing the city it was a good idea? 
I'm Jamie, and I don't really know what to do here. I was told this was a confessional room, but I don't really have anything to confess. All I really know is that this is some reality show. Apart from that, I wasn't really told anything else, so don't blame me if I sound like a dumbass. Okay, this is all entirely new to me. Never been to a place with actual sunlight, much less a place with snow or frozen lakes. Maybe bringing this winter jacket was a mistake. My name is Jordan, and this is my first time actually being somewhere that isn't where I come from. In case you don't know, I come from Mount Shit Point, and it's basically an isolated spot on the outskirts of the Topperton Mountain Range. Over there, it's always dark, it's always at least 30 below freezing, and it's extremely isolated. You can make the argument that it's even worse than Wasteland Hills. Hopefully this show is what I need to finally move out of that place. Ugh. I didn't sign up for this shit. I don't even want to be here. Well too bad. Should have thought twice before filling this out. My name is Kyra, and I don't fucking care about this stupid game. You're probably thinking, why the hell did you sign up for a dumb ass? Well to answer your question, I didn't. My stupid ass brother forged my signature, put my info on the contract, and then edited some old ass footage of me and sent it as my audition tape. The next time I see him, I'm gonna beat his ass into a pulp. Hey there everyone. It's so great to be here on this show. Great to see you've come back Chepper. And good luck to all my fellow competitors. I'm Mana, and it's so great to be here on this show. If I were to describe myself, it would be a lovable, kind, caring girl who will stop at nothing to help her team. Hopefully I can make friends while also showing that I'm a wonderful competitor. And who knows, maybe I could end up winning, we'll just have to see. Well, might as well spare you all the humiliation and give me the prize right now. Ain't no way in hell any of you can match my strength. Get in my way and I'm gonna fuck you up. My name is Mark, but you can call me your super athlete. It's all about the sports, and it's all about the brawns. Give me any challenge and no doubt I would crush it. That's what happens when you work out four hours a day, every day. You become better than everyone else, and that's exactly how it works. Bring it on Topa, I'm ready for everything. Alright let's just get this shit over with. I already know this is some introduction scene which is literally nothing but filler. Real original Topper. Says the guy who looks like a fucking Christo ripoff. And whose fault is that? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. My name is Gnome, and yeah, I get it. I look like a gay ass Christo clone, but do me a solid and look past that. But besides that, I don't really do much. I'm kind of a loner, don't really have any friends, and I almost never leave my house, unless it's to go to my little spot where I can be alone. But when I am not at my spot, I tend to watch shows like this, and this one got my attention. I mean, Topper randomly coming back as well as a mystery prize? Sign me up. Well, here I am. I don't really know what else to say, let's just get the show underway. Great. We have a fucking Blandy. Shut up! I'm Paula, and I'm probably one of the more level-aided people to be in this show. I don't really have trauma, or some interesting backstory, or some incident that really fucked me up. I'm just a girl who lived a relatively decent life. Hopefully this show will make it even better. And hopefully I don't get picked on for being a ginger. Alright. Which one of you motherfuckers stole my fucking basketball? Oh, um... Wow how could this have happened? What a mysterious circumstance. Well whoever it is I'm beating their ass to a pulp. I'm Tyrone, and I am very much a sportsman. I love football, basketball, hockey, soccer, baseball, pretty much anything that involves getting physical. Well that sounded so wrong please don't air that. God damn it, now I'm probably gonna get looked at as a joke. Whatever. I'm also into USA elimination and hopefully Tech brings that show back soon. I mean, he just randomly returned to V and without explanation after disappearing for over two months and being away from V and for over a year. Okay, listen and listen closely. 
Fuck you. Fuck everyone else. I came here to win, period. No buts, no bullshit, no guacamole. Get in my way and expect possible homicide. My real name is Wallace, but I prefer to be called Wally. Why Wally? Because mind your own fucking business, that's why. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I came to fucking win and I don't care what I have to do. Whatever that prize is, I know it'll improve my life, and that's all I really care about. And if you actually wonder how my life is, then you must be pretty stupid if you think I'm just gonna reveal it like that. Alright, now that we got introductions out of the way let's just get to the fucking challenge. So I'm holding two cards, a red one and a blue one. What I'm gonna do is hide them somewhere on the island. How the fuck did he just- Don't question it. So basically the first two to find a card and bring it to me will be picking the team's next episode. Anyone else got any stupid questions? Put your hand down right fucking now. Jesus fuck, I just needed to use the bathroom. Where the fuck is that card? I ain't dealing with no scrubs as a leader. Don't know don't fucking care, I just wanna get out of this dump. Well have you ever heard of leaving the server genius? Oh she actually did that. Meh, she was a piece of shit in a way. Hey! That's my line. Mine. You can't just steal it like that. That's a piece of shit. So what if I left the server and basically quit the challenge? It's not like my dumb ass was gonna win anyway, like what did you expect me to do, get in Wally's pants? Out of my way. I got a card to find. What the fuck dude? You just bumped into me. Oh please, stop being such a pussy about it. So you think just because you're tough you can just mess with me? Well I'll have you know that if you dare test me, I will make you regret it. Got that? Okay okay fine, just don't fuck me up. Call me fucked up all you want. You don't know what I've been through, nor will you ever understand. No one will. Dude, normally I don't really fear anyone, but Wally, I swear to fuck that guy is a literal psycho. So if you don't mind me asking, how did a kid like you even apply for the show? Let alone get picked by Tepper. Well, it was because my mom recently lost her job. And she was going through so much stress that I applied for the show in hopes of helping her out. I really hope the prize is money so I can support her until she gets a new one. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Just so you know, I'm here for you no matter what. Thanks, Lana. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Bella. Anytime. Coming into this show, I never would have thought my best friend would be a 10-year-old girl, but here we are now. And I gotta say, it's pretty nice to see someone like her, especially since a lot of the competitors don't seem like nice people. But Bella? She is such a sweetheart. So just for the record, my mom is doing fine, and she very much has a job. That was just a complete lie to get Lana on my side. And holy shit did it actually work. I mean seriously, what an idiot. She is so naive that she would be the perfect pawn. I am so gonna run this game. Well, this card is not in the bush. Wow, great observation Sherwood. How long did it take to figure that shit out? Shouldn't you be in the whorehouse by now? Oh please hot stuff. The whorehouse wishes they had me. Oh back off sister. I'm the hottie here. Who the fuck would want you? Oh please, I'll have you know that I've had many boyfriends in high school. Yeah? Well so have I. And I bet you right now that Mark over there would rather date me over you. Can you not bring me into this? I'm really not in the mood to deal with this shit. Who the fuck said this was a dating show? This is a competition show and we don't need idiots like Camille trying to show their titties like it's the strip club. Okay seriously. What the fuck is Camille's deal? I literally start fucking with Mark for the sake of fun and then she goes in and rains on my parade. It's people like her who always ruin everything and that is why she's first on my hit list. Holly is a stupid asshole. She thinks she can get any guy she wants. Well too bad because not only am I prettier than her, but I'm absolutely sure that Mark wants me. And who can blame him? I'm fucking hot. I'm seriously gonna fucking lose it. Um, Connor, what are you even doing? Just watching some Death Note. 
Fucking love that show, especially with all the murder. You wanna watch it with me? You bet your cereal looking ass I do. Cereal looking ass? Come on. That's the stupidest line I think I've ever heard. Okay, seriously, who the fuck is writing this stuff? Whoever's in charge of this shit needs to be fired right fucking now. That's a fourth wall break. No, 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 no. Okay, what the actual fuck? There is no card here. Well, what did you expect? I doubt Topper would actually hide the cards in a tree cause that would be too much effort. Shut up, gnome. You are literally sick in the dome. Wow, like I never heard that shit before. Can you stay up in that tree? It's where you belong. No wonder you're a loner. Hey, how about instead of arguing, we can all just sit back and watch Jojo's Bizarre Adventure as a family? Dude, what circus did you come from? Do we need to call the Kawaii Squad again? Kawaii? You mean the overrated squad? Oh, you did not just say that about the Kawaii Squad. What the fuck has this scene devolved into? It goes from anime, to fourth wall breaks, to ripping on Connor. Carrying this show is gonna be harder than I thought. This is why I choose to be a complete loner. Society fucking sucks, people are complete shit, and everyone is at least some level of dipshit. Ugh. I honestly don't get why Connor got all pissed at me. All I really did was call the Kawaii Squad overrated. Seemed like a very true fact to me. What is it with people and not respecting the Kawaii? They are seriously missing out on some good shit if they're not opening themselves up to anime. Hey Jordan, any luck with finding a card? Okay. Does Paula really expect me to tell her if I found a card? How stupid does she think I am? Nope, I got nothing. I don't see you searching for anything though. Oh come on, at least I'm doing more than Damien and Aspen. Oh shut the fuck up and just let me enjoy the scenery. I never get this opportunity back home. Yeah, you and me both sister. Why the fuck is everyone so serious? I get that this is a game, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun. But you know what, I'm not complaining. I love some good ass tension while I take a smoke. Well I don't know about you guys, but I know what I'm gonna do. Hey Damien, can I have a cigarette? Sure, I got a whole pack you could smoke. Now this is the life. I think it's safe to say I don't want any of these slackers on my team. I mean seriously, Jordan, Damien, and Aspen cannot do jack shit. They are probably going to be the stereotypical early boots. People don't understand that I just wanna get out. I was literally just chilling until that bitch Paula came in and dragged Jordan with her. Damien is whatever, he doesn't really give a fuck about anything, so he is chill. Hell yay, a card. Time to make like Kawashi and say, alright fine my head out. Oh fuck no. I am not letting that idiot win. Come back here stupid. Oh hell no. Finally. They're gone. Wow, can't believe I'm about to win my first challenge. This is fucking amazing. That's where you're wrong. Jordan, tackle his ass. Do I seriously look like a pawn to you? <laughs> oh, I am so gonna take that card and then I'm gonna take it to ADX Florence so I can escape the IRS. Damn it, I missed the shot. Oh, sugar fucking long bong. Fuck this game. Oh, hell yeah. Tyrant for the win. And that's the end of the motherfucking challenge. Hold up, who has the blue card? Oh. You mean this blue card? What the actual fuck? That stupid motherfucking weed just randomly found the blue card and didn't realize it because he's a fucking dumbass? What the fuck is this game? That guy is joining Camille on my hit list. Alright viewers, it looks like Connor and Tyrone are gonna be the team captains, and they will be picking the teams next episode. But now we have reached everyone's favorite part of the episode, the voting screen. But this voting is gonna be a little different. Instead of just casting straight up votes, you'll be casting a like vote, and a dislike vote. The person with the most likes will get some sort of prize which could potentially shake up the game. The likes will also act as a vote to save while the dislikes are votes to eliminate.
At the end of the elimination, the likes will be subtracted from the dislikes, and the person with most dislikes after everything has been tallied up will be eliminated. Here are some visual examples for the sake of context. Oh by the way, make those votes good, because I might actually read both hate comments and positive comments if I feel like it, which there's a really good chance that I will. So make them count.